Boom. All right, what's up, YouTube fans? So, obviously, I'm at the gym right now, powering through this leg day. So, um, so if you don't really want to see the workout, just fast forward to this time right here. But if you do lower body day, start off with deadlifts. I haven't been able to hit lower body for about a week and a half, so I like strained something on my leg. And so that was like frustrating. But anyway, trying to get back on it. Hit the deadlift. I got 390 on the bar right now. I'm supposed to do it for five. Honestly, it's Friday. It's been a long week. We'll see how it goes. But I ain't trying to make no excuses. So 390 for five. Is it coming up? Stay tuned. Oh, I want something to So I'm doing deadlifts, then I'm gonna do some squats. I'm gonna do, like I said, lower body for a week and a half. <sighs> so we got to see how I feel. I'm not supposed to jump up to 425 for a triple. That's gonna be pretty hard, but let's for the two that I did instead of the four so instead of moving up and doing a double I dropped down because I wasn't feeling it today so I did a 405 for two doubles so I ended up doing the same volume I'm out of volume just less weight so that's what really matters some days you're just not gonna feel it but you still gotta you wanna hit like you're you wanna do what you can do without like over exerting yourself so it's probably multiple reasons I'm really tired it's Friday it's like 5 30 but the main reason probably what I eat I haven't eaten a whole lot today I probably have like 900 calories in me right now and it's like five o'clock at night so that does not make for a good deadlift recipe so now I'm gonna see what how I do on squat because I've missed my last two heavy squat sessions due to my strain in my leg so we're gonna see how my leg holds up she looks great right now so we're about to head over to the squat bar Alright guys, so I'm just cooking dinner right now. I've got sweet potato fries and then grilled chicken. So this is probably my meal for the next two days. I'm gonna split this up. So this whole meal comes out to about 550 calories roughly. Looking at roughly 55, 60 grams of protein, about 45 grams of carbs, and about 15 grams of fat. So that brings my whole macro breakdown for today, which is day three of the shred. Day three, but honestly, I don't probably really call it my. Eh, I don't know if it's day three. Well, today is day three. The time the video goes up, I'll be like on day like six or seven. But that brings my total macro breakdown to 42% carbs, 37% protein, and 21% fat. So ideally, I'd like to get the protein up a little bit higher. So that's something I'm gonna be trying to work on for the next few days. But good morning, YouTube. Good morning to me. I don't know what time you're watching this at. <clears throat> I think this video is going up at night. Anyway. <clears throat> ah. <clears throat> I think I just might have died right there. But I'm just going to ignore that that happened. Anyway, what's up? So I was just thinking about like last night's session. And one of the reasons why it might have been like weak 
was because I don't think I ate enough during the day. I only had about 1,000 calories in me going into the workout at about 5 p.m. So that's not good. So definitely we'll have to change that next week and see how it works. Even though I'm like on a shred and on like a deficit, I still need to be like a little bit higher than that, especially like that late in the day, especially before I train. So something I'm definitely gonna change. But now to address the topic of this video, YouTube playing everyone, hoeing everyone. All right, so in short, did YouTube like screw me over? Not really. Was that clickbait? Yeah, it was. But they did change their policy. And I mean, I get, it's okay. Like it doesn't really affect me, but so I'm gonna explain how this, this works. So YouTube, so about three years ago, it may have been two years ago, they, okay. Let me restart. So let's say three years ago, anyone who anyone who posted a video on YouTube auto, could automatically be monetized, could automatically make some money. Um, which means that they would put, automatically put ads in front of their videos. But then companies started complaining because their ads were in front of videos that they were in front of videos that they did not approve of personally. So they complained at YouTube, and then so YouTube made a like a guideline kind of thing. So in order for your channel to be monetized or to have ads in front of your videos, was to you have to have a thousand views, and this is essentially to get paid from YouTube. You, have to, you have to pretty much have to have a thousand. Uh, I mean not a thousand, ten thousand lifetime views. And then once you got this ten thousand lifetime views, then YouTube would view your channel, and they would say, okay, you're not doing anything stupid. You're not posting inappropriate content. You're not posting like stupid content like you're good you're gonna be monetized companies are gonna like want their stuff in front of that because that's good content and then you'd be monetized at a thousand views so all right ten thousand total views so i was striving to get ten thousand total views so my goal was to get that by the summer by june july i was thinking i was gonna hit ten thousand views be monetized get your own url and all that i was like oh sweet but then youtube came out I think it was three days ago or two days ago they came out and they changed their policy again to certain guidelines basically so now instead of 10,000 lifetime views you got to have 1,000 subscribers within the last 12 months and 4,000 total hours of watch time which those will probably go hand in hand like if you have one you'll probably have the other so so essentially now for me to get monetized I have to get a thousand subscribers so that's gonna cause me it's just gonna take longer for me to get monetized which is okay cuz like I mean I don't do this to get monetized I do it cuz it's a lot of fun just being monetized would be cool like hey I'm monetized but <clears throat> so now I have to like readjust my goal so instead of trying to get monetized by summer now I gotta readjust and hopefully you can get monetized by the end of 2018 that's the goal now so originally I wanted to like get monetized by summer but now I'm gonna try to move it back 2018 Hopefully that happens, but the thing the thing this really affects like so like YouTube has this analytics screen where I can see all my analytics like my numbers like my views my retention where my audience comes from. So uh, shout out to the uh, the dude in Brazil who watched one of my videos and the dude in Australia who's watched one of my videos because only like ninety seven percent of my audience is in the United States. So somewhere some somebody somewhere has watched one of my videos. But anyway, that's the cool thing that YouTube does. Now, this policy, like I don't have a problem with it because it doesn't directly affect me right now. Like I'm not monetized and hopefully when I get monetized, YouTube said they're gonna focus more on those that have earned the monetization, that like promote those more. So hopefully when I get that monetized, it'll be better for me, like in the future. But YouTube really screwed over the people who were monetized, but now who don't meet the new monetization policy. So for instance, say if I had 10,000 views, like lifetime views, and I was monetized, but I only had like 200 subscribers, um, that means on February 20th, so in about one month, the new policy takes effect. So if I was monetized, but I don't have the 1,000 subs, I become demonetized until I get the 1,000 subs, which is kind of like, I mean, it. I have a friend that that affects, and I'm gonna go ahead and shout out her channel. It's uh, Scarlet Princess Star. Um, I'll put it right here and then it'll be in the description. Um, she's really cool. You should go check out her channel. But she's just an example of how like, she was monetized, 
but now she won't be monetized anymore until she like earns that again which is kind of messed up because she already had it but anyway you should go check out her channel go comment on all her videos to upload more because she didn't upload that much anymore but go give her motivation to upload so go do that but yeah that's just an example of how YouTube kind of screwed some people over but for me it means it's just gonna take me longer to get monetized and essentially I'm gonna to have to just push my monetization goal back but hopefully when I do get monetized it all works out in the end hopefully that's where we're going hopefully I don't get monetized in YouTube like alright we're changing it you gotta have 10,000 subs because that would just be annoying and honestly it might not surprise me at this point but so that's that I'm gonna go shoot some hoops because I have an internal basketball game tomorrow and I haven't touched a basketball in like a really long time but you should check out my high school highlights drop down in the description box your boy used to be a hooper career high of 33 points 3-3 three, three, baby anyway go watch them highlights and uh, thumbs up this video, subscribe. But this video's not done, so keep watching. What's <clears throat> up, so YouTube? I here working on my game. I'm hooping, check this out. Left handed. Fucking talent. I went in. I don't know, my head just blocked the basket. Totally went in. What's up, YouTube? All right, so it's Saturday. I don't know if I established that. But it's been Saturday since I woke up this morning. Oh, wait, it's way zoomed in. All right, so anyway, home basketball game. So I'm going it's right over here. It's in that building. So we're headed home game. Here we go. Until we get this dub. Ah. Hey, hey. Oh. hey, Camden fans. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. It's me, Emily, here at the basketball game. Alright, what's up guys? So right now, I'm at the basketball game, obviously, hadn't started yet. And my friends, they want to be on the vlog, they want to say hi, so... Like and subscribe below! Oh, see, they, they, they already know what's up, so like, subscribe, you guys already got it. But anyway, we're about to watch this game and enjoy it. So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your